Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be going over Bioshock Infinite which has been released for Linux. Now I'm going to be going over it in Ubuntu 15.04 64-bit. Let's get right ahead to it. I'm using the latest NVIDIA 346.47 drivers. So I'm going to be trying to do several things here in this video. I'm going to show you controller support and not. I'm going to be doing max settings, I'm going to be loot go settings, and I'm also going to be doing window mode, hopefully, as long as nothing breaks. Now you may see occasionally the entire screen gets engulfed in a pinkness of letter like just now. That's not the game, that's GLX OSD which is what I'm using to get the large frame rate numbers on the top left. So don't worry, when you play the game you will not have that unless you're trying to inject GLX OSD into it. It's kind of peculiar we're seeing that gaming evolved intro video here considering that the AMD support for this game for Linux is actually very bad. You're only getting support for the HD 7000 series and above, while well, Nvidia goes far back. So I'm going to go ahead and... Alright, so as you can see, I'm using the 360 controller plugged in. Alright, I definitely recommend using a controller over the mouse and keyboard for good reason. The mouse input uh, delay is insane, especially when you get into certain areas. Suddenly the mouse will lag so bad, I don't know why, but that's the only problem I've had so far. As you can see, the frames are pretty good, so I'm going to go straight into options. I'm starting out the video at maximum settings. I believe maximum settings that I can set it at. 1920 by 1080p, everything is on or ultra or very high. As you can see here, on, ultra, ultra, very high, normal, ultra, ultra, brightness doesn't matter. Lock frame rate is basically vsync, I switched that up because I want to go above 60 if it's possible. Uh, subtitles is on, health bars, everything else is just random stuff, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna head back out, and let's jump right into the game, shall we? This is full screen 1080p, remember that I'm also recording the screen at the same time with uh, with simple screen recorder, so frame rates are being eaten from that, maybe somewhere around 10 frames per second. I'm gonna start this at medium. So far, so good. This is a virtual programming Eon wrapped port. So while it's not entirely native, they've definitely improved the performance to the point where it feels native. Whether it actually uh, challenges the Windows part of the game, though, it remains to be seen. Maybe I'll check it on later on. Are you afraid of God? So we haven't jumped into the scene yet, but we're seeing about 78 frames per second. I believe the executable of this game is only 32-bit, which is a shame. If it was 64-bit, maybe you would get even more performance, but who am I to say? I am not the porter. I don't know any better. So we're at about 70 frames per second, jumping right in. So we start out in the scene. Remember, everything is ultra, and right now I'm getting 60 plus frames while recording. This is pretty impressive. I'm also injecting the game with GLXOSD at the same time I'm recording my audio on Audacity. I'm doing multiple things at once here, and the game is okay so far. Moving up and down, look at the details on the boat down there if you can see it. That's pretty good stuff. Even the hands have details. Now you may see a lot of screen tearing and that is due to the screen recorder recording at a different frame rate from the game. That is inevitable. I can't seem to find a perfect situation where it records nicely with the given frame rate without taking a huge toll. So this is the best I can do for now. Note that you will not see the screen tearing you're seeing in the video in real life when you're playing this. I do not see it. You should not see it as long as you are running a 60 frame a 60 hertz monitor. If you're running on 120Hz monitor though, then this is definitely not ideal and you will have to reduce the frame rates if you have a similar card to mine. So just to reiterate, this is running on Ubuntu 15.04, uh, 64-bit. Did I leave anything out? I don't think so. Jumping into the ladder. Alright, so they're rowing away. They're about to abandon me. Still seeing Somebody a good 50, 55 frames. It does drop a bit. Let's get a bit close up to some of these things here. Get a bit closer again, just for the fun of it. Let's take a good look to the left, a good look to the right. I'm mean, going to be using controller throughout of this. The input lag for the mouse is just too much for me to bear. Okay, got my first few coins. Let's move in. Let's see if I can do a jump in a 360 no scope style. That was okay. Jump down to about 55 frames per second there. Let's take a close look at the details here. Look at that. That is pretty neat. That is pretty neat. That is pretty neat indeed. Okay. 
what it says here is bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. Okay, I'm going to move forward a bit further again. And once we're good up ahead, I'm going to jump back out. I did get an achievement there on the bottom right. Coins in the cushion. I think I keep getting that achievement. I think that might actually be a bug. Every time I start this place, I keep getting that achievement, which is not supposed to happen. All right, let's jump in. Excuse me. It's Booker DeWitt. Booker DeWitt. I guess you're expecting me? Of thy sins shall I wash thee. Guess I gotta wash my hands. Oh, we saw it drop down to 24 frames per second just now. So it still does seem to have the problem that the Witcher 2's current port has, which is the frame rates jump up and down at a pretty large range. I previously tested the Witcher 2 yesterday and it does the same thing. It stays at 60, then suddenly drops down to 24. So they still have spike problems they're gonna have to fix. Let me go ahead and pick up more cash. More cash. I'm just rubbing the place blind here. Let's go up. Is anyone here? Hello? Alright, looks like someone has gone ahead and died here. Shit. Don't disappoint us. Who? They have really murdered this guy. Poor fella. Pick up all that dosh. All that dosh. Yeah, all that dosh. Let's take a look out the window, see what we see. Nothing too special there. Frame rate's still solid so far. I want to try and get into a scene where there is more to render on screen. But it's really going to push stuff. Well, here we're seeing some of the first metallic instances. Metallic stuff, let's see what happens. Hey man, that card. There we go. That should get me in. Mm. Or yeah. what the hell is happening? What? Is it Judgment Day? What the frack? Let me grab some cash before Judgment Day. I need my money. So far so good. Even with the screen recording on, it's not dropping below 60. But we did see it drop to 24 before this so there is a minimum frame rate of 24 I want to see if I can reach that low frame rate again before I switch to the low settings remember I'm running max settings here I'm pushing it to the limit All right. Looks like can I go into this? this may be quite a long video if you're not interested in watching the entire thing please look in the description of this video for a timeline so you can see the parts that interest you I'm trying to do a longer video here so that we can actually see the frame rates over time. Alright, I'm seeing screen tearing now on my screen just now when we were turning around. But the frame rates still seem to be high. What the hell is this? Are they gonna kill me? Wait a second, is this a rocket? Looks like it's a rocket. So we're not going in the sea this time? Like one. the five shot one, you went into the side of the sea. Attention. This time we're going into space. Attention. 70 frame rates, we're going into the sky. And the controller is shaking. The controller is shaking. This actually works with the 360 controller properly. I'm impressed. Oh, it looks like we're in the town, finally. So I believe there's a lot in the frame to be rendered, but right now it seems to be doing a pretty good job so far. We're looking at 50 to almost 60 frame rates here. Not so bad. I want to get into the town where there's a lot of NPCs hopefully and just really walk around and get close to the NPCs and see where the frame rates drop if I can get it to drop at all. Because the first instance of it dropping was when we saw our face. Alright, we have landed. Let's get out of here. Come on! Get to the chopper! Wait, no, this is... Oh, look at that. Written in the clouds. Oh, okay. The previous achievement I got before wasn't actually getting it. I was just building up to it. That was the coins achievement that you need to collect coins over. 
we will not raise a finger for our... Okay, you're definitely seeing... I'm seeing this green tearing every time the Steam Overlay opens up. Which is really weird, because I switched off the Steam Overlay, so I shouldn't be seeing these things come up on the screen. Finally, it looks like I've landed. Looks like we've gone ahead and entered into another cultist area, just like in Bioshock 1. All the people thinking they can be God. So... Here we are. Lots of water on the ground. Any reflections in the water? Nope. I don't even I don't even see my feet. 58 frames per second. That will navigate. That built something on the ground. As soon as I did that, the frame rate dropped below 50. Let's see if that happens again. Yep, every time I do this, we are seeing it drop below 50. Let me do that again. A lot of lights here. A lot of different light sources. Still good so far, pushing past 50. Definitely playable in Ultra. Let me grab these people's monies. I got a silver eagle, a gun, and a gift. Come on. What else have we got? Mm -mm -mm. Nope, wrong way. Oh, no, wait, is there something here? It says search basket. What is that? I got silver eagle. Oh, okay. Heading right back out again. Excuse me. Here we are, first NPC. Heaven. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. I keep such questions to myself. Unless I want to get Still 60 frames per second. This is pretty good. But my god, this guy has anime eyes. Kawaii! <laughs> Kawaii desu ne. Alright, let's go down. Oh, uh, what else? Oh, 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 we saw it just now. Drop down to 27 frames per second. Alright, maybe it's not what's in the scene. It's that it's loading the scene. That's why it drops. And every year on this oh, there we go again. We saw it drop for a moment. Can I jump over there? No, I cannot. Alright, lots of people on the screen. Lots of lights. Lots of reflections. And we're still seeing above 50 frames per second. Virtual programming seems to have done a really good job. But I don't know if this compares to the Windows native port, that is the question. Definitely playable for me, but what about if you're on lower hardware, then maybe it won't be so playable. Out of the way, suckers. Out of the way. Alright, these people are all crazy. I'm for real, these people are all crazy, look at them. They all kawaii. All kawaii. <laughs> They've all got the same set of eyes. So I gotta accept baptism to get into there. Is he blind? Alright, 40 frames per second just now. We saw it drop down to. Alright. Looks like I've gone and teleported to a new place. We're still seeing 60 plus frames, so I think this is pretty good enough for me to want to go into the windowed mode. And then after that, I'm going to try and change it to... Wait, no, you know what? I'm going to try and go to low settings first. So I'm seeing destruction of the city. Finally, I'm here. This took forever. A whole lot of idol worshippers seeing about 50 frames per second. Alright, now we're seeing, we saw it drop to 45. All this grass in the area. Picking up them dosh. Picking up them dosh. Oh, it saw it drop to 40 just now. So far hasn't dropped to 20 yet. Oh, oh, there we go. We saw it drop down to 16. And I'm not sure why. I'm, I'm assuming it must be loading something. Alright, so since I'm here, I'm going to now change everything to, to low settings. Let's go ahead and see if we can do that. Graphics. I'm going to do this on the fly. So it may affect the recording. Hopefully not. Oops, I didn't have dynamic shadows on Ultra. Oh, okay, my bad. I'll leave that. Leave that off. Very low. Light shafts off. Alright, I believe I've turned off everything that needs to be turned off. Anti-aliasing. Oops, almost forgot that one. Alright, there we go. Save. Go back. Now let's see what frame rates we are getting. 
200 frame rates the difference between low and ultra is insane look at that 200 frame rates but then again also look at the scene it looks absolutely freaking hideous most definitely playable though so if you have low f hardware you can definitely play this baby 240 frames per second all right we're seeing definitely above 200 here so this is definitely overkill right now Just pretty good city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools so in a short bit, if it continues to maintain such a high frame rate as expected, then I will simply jump into windowed mode to see how it performs then. I'm still playing with the controller. If I were to move my mouse right now, yeah, I can feel the input lag. It feels, to be totally honest, the mouse input lag is just not good for me. I can't take it. So I will be using the controller. Can't get over there. We're seeing it drop below 200, 140, 130, 110 just now. Oh, oh, drop down to 80 frames there. 70 frames. I'm pretty sure that's actually the loading of the area more than anything. If this is an Unreal game, I'm pretty sure it's procedurally loading the area. As is usual, usual with Unreal games. Alright, so we're good here with the low frame rates as uh, the low settings have high frame rates, which is pretty good. Uh, time to go into windowed mode. Hopefully I don't screw up the screen recorder. I want to change graphics to windowed. Save. And now in windowed mode, I want to save the settings. Can't change the resolution though. Nah, no, that's what I want to do. Windowed. And I'm going to say 1280 by 720 I'm going to save changes. Save changes once again. Let's return to the game and see what happens. So we're not seeing 200 frame rates anymore. Even though I've reduced the resolution. I think that's because it also has to render the UI of Ubuntu now. This should be the case for any distribution you're using. If you go into window mode, expect the graphics card to work double since it's also drawing your operating system. Full screen now, this is actually better for gameplay rather than windowed mode. Okie dokie, so this is what it looks like in low settings. What happens if I go ahead and max everything out? 1920 by 1080p on uh, ultra, 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 I uh, don't need to change that. On ultra, ultra, all right. Click save changes. Oh, oh my lord. And for some reason it went to 1080p, I don't want to do that. I want to bring it down to 10, 720. Everything is on ultra. Let's see what happens. So the game looks beautiful, but I can definitely feel the difference in frames. And I mean feel it, as in the, when I control it and turning left and right. So I'm just going to do a bit of spinning here. We're seeing it above 70 frames per second at 720p. So it seems that the resolution doesn't matter so much here. What matters is the settings of the game. So all in all, I think virtual programming did a really good job with this Eon port. I'm sorry if the video is really long, I just really wanted to test it all the way out. So that is it guys, we've seen it on max settings, low settings, uh, full screen mode and windowed mode. All the way through on Ubuntu 15.04 here. It's a good port. Virtual programming, you guys have done a really good port here if you're watching. Thank you for doing a good job. I hope you guys continue to improve in the future. And I look forward to more ports like this. So guys, if you're still on edge whether or not to get it, get it. This game is good. I bought it full price. It is worth it right now like this. This is seriously playable. Now, if you're using a keyboard and mouse though, then you may suffer. So I would highly suggest that if you plan to get it, please get, get it with a controller in mind. And AMD users, you are stuck on either having a 700,000 HD card and above or yeah, that's pretty much all your options really. And you have to use the proprietary drivers. You don't have a choice. So that is it for this gameplay video guys, I hope you enjoyed watching, I hope it was informational in one way or another, and thank you for watching.